The Western Cape Disaster Management Centre is on high alert for the incoming cut-off low weather system making landfall today. As we heard from Mpo, our meteorologist, damaging waves, strong winds, severe thunderstorms expected and the intensity expected to be uh, the, the highest in the Western Cape, including Neisner, George, Mossel Bay and Otsur and along the Garden Route, route uh, the Eastern Cape affected as well. The National Sea Rescue Institute has urged the public not to go out out to see. We bring in Western Cape Local Government Environmental Affairs and Development Planning MEC Anton Bridell. MEC, thank you for joining us. Uh, firstly, where are you and what is the weather like, if you can tell us right now? Only a pleasure, thank you very much. Uh, I'm in the west coast in Marmersbury. Um, raining the all, all day, um, but, but not the severe flood that we expect in, in the Garden Route and Overberg. I think it's most your, mostly your coastal towns that I'm worried about. Um, remember that we had very really good um, winter rains. The dams are full. Um, so we keep a very close eye. We activated our disaster management centers. We've got all the volunteers and role players involved um, on standby. So we call now on the public to work with us to listen to the communication of the municipalities and disaster management centers and to help us to keep um, the people around us safe. So I, I imagine there's a sense of trepidation because from the weather department we knew it would start uh, any time from this afternoon and then get worse and worse and, and worse. So essentially, uh, those people along the garden route waiting for the weather to come in and to see how damaging it will be. Yes, we expect up to 100 millimeters of rain in those areas now with um, severe wind and, and thunderstorms um, can create very difficult circumstances, very dangerous circumstances. So people must just be safe and work with us and if possible, um, stay inside. Um, we've got everybody on standby to, to support the communities. If people have plans to travel along the garden route, uh, to move around, are you essentially saying, put those on hold and really try and stay where you are? Yeah, so since this morning, we've asked all the mayors to alert, especially the caravan parks, etc. Remember, it's a long weekend um, to, to be safe and try to stay indoors. Um, if you've got a tent on your caravan, just put it down and, and, and don't create an environment where the wind can get under it and, and, and um, cause, cause any loss of life or, or damage to property. And you say a lot of people will be out on the ground, officials, uh, so would that be by waterways or along roads? Will there be a lot of monitoring or is it more sense of let's wait and see and pick up calls? No, it's, it's monitoring, it's all hands on deck, um, pump, pump cat services to SAPS, to NSRI, to Life Saving South Africa, all our volunteers, 4x4 groups, everybody's on the ground out there to support communities and um, working from our disaster management centers. We want to have one a system of communication and control. Um, therefore, people must not um, share unverified messages and the municipalities will lead the communication system. Finally, are you prepared? Do you believe that as a province you can help people if they are severely affected? Yeah, we've got a, a system that we've built over the years. The previous flood we, we've managed and I know we've got, got the manpower and, and the equipment on the ground. But people must also work with us. Um, people must not create a, a circumstances where their lives are in danger. So if they work with us, I think we will get through it.